Greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Honorable Minister of Correctional Services, Honorable uh, Lamola, uh, the Deputy Mayor of George Municipality, Councillor Fichlan, the National Commissioner, uh, Mr. Dobhale, all Regional Commissioners, our Regional Commissioner in the Western Cape, Mr. Dilekile Klaas, all protocol observed. Allow me just to <clears throat> briefly, in a few minutes, just to give a word of encouragement to the students, to the offenders, and to the members this morning. I want to read a portion of scripture where God spoke to Jeremiah. And he says the following. He says, before I, in Jeremiah 1 verse 5, before I formed you in your womb, I knew you before you were even born. I set you apart. I appointed you as prophet to the nations. Now it's very interesting that God spoke to Jeremiah. Now in preparation for my sermon, I thought about early morning about the minister. And before the minister was even born, God knew that his name will be written in history. To be the youngest minister appointed in South Africa. But before he was even appointed, God knew already that a date and a time has been set aside for him to be appointed. When God spoke to Jeremiah, he said, I formed you in your mother's womb. Before now, when a person is born, the mother and the father will wait to see the characteristics of that person or what the person will be, be like. But you know, when it comes to God, God is not bound by time. He knows our beginning from our end. I, when I reflect in my own life, I started in correctional services. Next month, it will be 30 years in the Department of Correctional Services. But you know, when I started in the correctional services, I was appointed as an assistant to a correctional official. Regional Commissioner, I couldn't handle keys. I can work with, I could work with the correctional official, but I couldn't handle keys. I started with a grade nine. I left school when I was in grade nine, standard, standard nine, grade 11. I grew up in a Nova Park and a friend of mine was stabbed and he died in my arms. And when he died, I decided school is not for me. I left school. But God has set a value on my life. I left school and I started working at Eli as a trolley boy, where I used to push the trolleys around. And then from there, I became a taxi guard. I worked as a taxi guard, and then I became a packer. And then from there, I joined Golden Arrow, and finally I ended up in correctional services. But through the grace of God this year, I was confirmed at UWC with a doctorate of philosophy. God is no respecter of person. You see, when God set you apart, in our life, there will be times that you will be pulled from many a side. As officials, there will be times that you feel you cannot take it and you will be stretched. At home, you will be stretched. At work, you will be stretched. Your families will stretch you. Your finances will stretch you. But you know, God has placed with inside of you agility. You have the resilience to bounce back. Despite what you are going through, you can bounce back. God has set a purpose in your life. When God spoke to Jeremiah, he said, Jeremiah, I formed you before you were even born. You see, when it comes to your value as a young person, God has set your value before you were even born. And in conclusion, I want to use this 10 rand note. Now, if I may ask who wants this 10 rand note, I'm certain there's many people that would want it. But you see, before this note was printed, the Reserve Bank has set the value on this note. It was set for 10 rand. This note is not worth 2 rand. This note is not worth 5 rand. This note is not worth 1 rand. It has been set as a 10 rand note. But you see, this note is going through many hands. And often you will find that it can be crumbled. And in your life, you will find that there are times that you will be crumbled and squeezed by life. 
but you see the value of the note has been set Hallelujah. there will be times you will find that people will come alongside you and they will step on you your supervisor might step on you your line manager might step on you your family the community offenders might step on you they might stigmatize you they might labor you they will step upon you at school they will step on you as a teacher as a lecturer but let me say the value has been set the note is still worth a 10 rand despite what it's going through so i want to encourage you in conclusion your value has been set you oh, to the offenders you might not be where you want to be but you can also thank god that you're not where you used to be you might not be where you want to be but you can also thank god that you're not where you used to be and to the young people there's a book by called the boy the horse the fox and the mole and as this boy and the horse was in the forest the boy said i cannot see ahead of me the horse asked him see can you see the step one step ahead of you he said yes i can then the horse responded just take one step my encouragement to you as young people just take one step at a time you will get to your destination i'm gonna ask that we just bow our head in prayer as we pray heavenly father we stand amazed in the awesome presence of the most high god lord who are we as people that god should be mindful of us but we thank you lord for your grace and your kindness that you have bestowed upon our lives oh god despite as our faces differ so our situations also differ but thank you lord that we can certainly say on the sixth of october god have set this day aside for us to be here you have purpose for us oh god to be here and thank you lord that our value has been set before this day lord i pray for every person that is present oh god despite what they're going through as our faces differ our situations differ but it is my prayer that you will take every person within this auditorium that you will take them from strength to strength from power to power and from glory to glory and we will not forget to give you the honor and the glory that you deserve i pray for every speaker everything that will transpire that your blessing will be upon it we pray this in jesus name with my thanksgiving amen and amen